Welcome to Pure Octane Garage. Hey Brandon, what do we got going on today? Hey Ryan, uh, well we had a question ask of us and we thought we could make a Pure Octane Garage pro tip out of it. Nice. Um, so, tar. Mm. Um, tar on a vehicle, not good. It's always, it, it's ugly, you need to get it off of there. Sticky? Yeah, sticky, gooey mess. And when I say tar, that also applies to, well, as you can see, bug, tar, yeah. gum. Uh, tree sap. Tree sap, yeah. So, hey, we've got some products and a quick tip here to uh, help everyone take care of that. You know, when you're interim of a car wash and you want to get it off of there right away or detail job or whatever. So, uh, we've got two methods that uh, we use here, right? Yeah, we're going to give the uh, turtle wax uh, bug and tar remover. Uh, we'll, we'll show you using this. And I've used, I've used a turtle wax bug and tar remover for for many years and I've always had really good luck with it. Yeah. So we know that will work. <laughs> but yeah. we're gonna show you how to use it. And then um, for people that maybe don't have this on hand and you want to get it off of that car right away, your vehicle right away, we're gonna see if we can make the WD forty work. Usually this can get I've had good luck getting gum off with this. Uh, I can't okay. say I've ever tried it on tar, but we're going to try it on tar. Yeah, let's it. let's give it a try. So. Um, I I do remember reading about using it in that way, yeah. but I, I never have. So I guess today we'll learn together as far as using WD-40 to remove tar. And I think uh, one of the big things to remember is um, when you use one of these products, mm -hmm. you are removing the protection that was on your car, wax, sealant. Um, right. Most likely, so always good to wash that area and uh, reapply. Yeah, your so protection. A protection, yeah. exactly to the surface of your or to your paint surface. So, and if your car it does have a sealant or a coating, the tar comes off a lot easier. It does. It does. <laughs> it's just it's the same with bird droppings and everything. Yeah. Um, that all removes much easier if you have a good protection on your car. Still sticks, clear coat. but comes off easier. Exactly. Yeah. So. With that said, I think all we need to do is go tackle yeah, let's, this. Let, let's head over to the car. There's uh, tar on it. Let's let's uh, remove it. All right, let's get that tar off of there. Just trying to generate some fuzz. Yeah. All right, we're over here at the car. As you can see, we got some tar here, all up in here, and then a nice big splotch of tar right here mid door. Wow. Yeah. So. Ryan, you're gonna tackle it with the bug and tar. Yep. Right? And then I'll hit it with the WD-40, this one, and uh, we'll see which one works better, I guess. We know the bug and tar will work. So well, maybe we'll be proved wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully you can see this. Um, do you have a rag? Got a rag for you right here. I'm gonna just uh, coat it on here. Let that sit for a minute. It is a, it's not too, it's a little runny, but warm you kind of let it cling to it there and let's see see how it removes the tar yeah well it's definitely removing it and sometimes it takes a couple applications right but it's like it's getting yeah. off there it's the definitely uh, tar removing mess. tar and dirt yeah, I remind you, we're not starting with a clean car. No, this car is, this is And this is kind of the expected use for this, is you're not going to be doing it on a... Uh, it's like, say you, you get home from work and realize suddenly you throw, throw it through some fresh tar. Quick way to take care of it in the meantime. Too. Also, Brandon, in my experience, the quicker you catch this, the better results, the easier it can be to remove. Right. To remove the tar. Really See, now here, on there. This has been on here a while, to be honest with you. Right. Let's see if WD-40 shows the WD here. You know you're a shake. You're like, wait a minute. I don't have any bug and tar remover, but I need to get this off. But I, a lot of people have this sitting around the house. So let's try it. We'll just squirt it right on here. All right. It runs right off of there. And let's see. Oh, it's, it, it is coming okay. off. Now again, <laughs> I'm guessing it's been on there for a while, so let's let's hit it. But, but I wanted you to, you know, have to work a little bit. 
So here, you know what we'll do? In a pinch, it'll get it off, especially if it's fresh, probably. Let's hit it with the rest of the fucking tar remover <laughs> and see if it just cuts right through it. Yeah, it definitely sits on the surface, as you can see. Yeah, it even says that on the label. It says that it's uh, a little bit uh, thicker, so it kind of clings to the surface a little more. Ugh. Okay, didn't smell bad. There, I think you got most of it off. It did come off. I'm gonna go, I mean, the bug and tar. you missed the spot here. Definitely removed better. There's we'll more here. Come on. When we detail, we do the whole dang thing. I'm gonna be here forever. Okay. <laughs> I'm liking the bug and tar a little bit better for this situation. <laughs> but it does, it does work in a pinch. Yeah. It'd be better than just let it sit. I don't think just soap and water would work. Or a car wash and a water with the so. so we obviously have a little more tar on there we knock off. Let's done. go ahead and finish this up as long as we're here. And she brought out the shine. Check that out. Now, what we would do is continue washing the vehicle, spray it down, uh, foam it. Soap it, wash it, dry it, and then uh, apply protection because there's there's literally no protection left here. So we'll go ahead and kind of show it. We just kind of give it a little rinse right here. There we go. Tar is removed. Nice, simple, straightforward, and it keeps your car looking good. Yeah. So bug and tire remover. So again, let us know if you want to see any uh, other quick pro tips, and uh, we'll uh, we'll show you. Yeah, give us ideas for pro tips. We're more than open to trying things. And uh, I think uh, another option too, Goo Gone um, can work pretty well too. Kind of similar, a little thicker with the bug and tire. So yeah, I have that as a house. Kind of citrus based. Yeah. Uh, it seems to remove sticky substances really well. Yep. Uh, but anyways, that's the pro tip for today. So thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, ring the bell, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. And we appreciate you guys. Thanks. Bam! <laughs> 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 <laughs>